yes the lord has created the beautiful world and all that moves he has created us this is the secret of god's love for us what a beautiful world god has created us what a beautiful seasons god has created us with faithfully he brings every year the rainy season the summer because of his secret love for us he loves us day and night and blessed is the man who keeps this god in the secret of his heart let this heart of his hunger in secretly for him we may be busy with 101 things but in the depth of us secretly this heart should hunger for him thirst for him keep in touch with him keep the strength from him if you are not loving the lord if you don't keep the lord in the secret of your heart the world will rule you if you don't allow the lord to rule at the secret of your life secret of your heart the secrets of the enemy which you do not know the dirt of this world the tricks of this world will rule you and ruin you if you don't allow the lord to control your life your life will be controlled by the enemy your life will control you we know about michael jackson a famous dancer every the whole world not the whole world at least some part of the world were running behind him and jansen wanted to live for 150 years and it was said he appointed 12 doctors at home who would be working daily examining him from hair to the nails toe nails they used to examine every part his food was always tested in the laboratory before it was served 15 people were appointed to look after his exercise even as he was lying down people will be doing exercise to his massaging to his body different type of 15 people were appointed for that his bed had the facilities to regulate oxygen level as his oxygen goes down immediately automatically oxygen will be available to him that kind of system they prepared such kind of bed that even in his bed he should not die his organ donors were kept ready in case suddenly some organ fails they immediately donate their organs so and he maintained those people who were offered to give organs to him yes he was proceeding with a dream of living for 150 years alas on 25th june 2009 he was not even reaching 50 he passed away his heart stopped the constant effort of 12 doctors could not help the people had come from doctors had come from los angeles california immediately but they could not save him the person who would never put a step forward without the doctor's suggestion for the last 25 years could not fulfill his dream of living for 150 years. Everybody thought his journey will be watched by 2.5 million people 
we got that many people who are his followers and admirers they thought that will be the longest telecast till date but on the day he died wikipedia twitter aols instant messenger all stopped internet could not work in most of the part of america they have to search the google millions of people were searching google that day to see the procession of jackson jackson tried to challenge that death but death challenged him this materialistic life in this materialistic world embrace materialistic death instead of a normal one this is the rule of life it is not sin to be rich but to be rich only with money is a sin to be rich only with the talents is a sin to be rich with what the world provides is a sin unless you and i treasure in the secret of our heart the lord we cannot have life at all john paul ii the pope who passed away he said walk with god every day and never underestimate the power of your prayers when you pray everything moves with you because your prayer moves the hands that moves the whole world my dear friends everyone who lives on this earth they keep something what do they keep in their heart makes the their life what they are and what they become what i am is god's gift to me and what i make up myself is only what i give it to god we read in the book of joshua chapter 6 we read when the israelites they were going in search to see the beautiful town called jericho when they went to see jericho in chapter 6 verse 25 can you read please but rahab the prostitute with her family and all who belonged to her joshua spared a family has lived in israel ever since for she hid the messengers whom joshua sent to spy out jericho the background of her is we do not know why she became a prostitute jesus said the sinners and the prostitutes they are going ahead of you to the kingdom because living in sin their hearts cry for god cry for deliverance in the secret of their heart they hunger for god what the secret of your heart hungers for will decide your life there are many who had committed their life for god but their hearts hunger for the filth of this world their hearts are crying for the pleasures of this world st paul said in second timothy chapter 3 he said the people of this world they love themselves more than their god second timothy chapter 3 
verse 4 traitors reckless conceited they are the lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of god in the last days people will love themselves and their pleasures more than they love for god that's what st paul predicted thousands of years ago and this lady heard about the people of israelites rahab and when the spies were sent by moses namely joshua galeb and one more man those three men were moving around so the king of that place was running behind running behind these spies to catch them and everyone heard it and they closed their doors but rahab kept the door open and as they were coming she pulled them inside and locked the door and when the king came and asked did he, anybody come who is this way what are what do you mean by that rahab answers so the king went away that whole night that prostitute kept these three with her and she was whole night asking telling she says your god is a mighty god your god has helped you people to break the red sea your god has fed you with manna i want this god to be part of my life outside all she is a prostitute but her heart was hungering for god a prostitute keeping those three men whole night knowing trying to know the wonders of god and praising god and telling them soon my people will fight against you but i know she is confessing i know our god is going to be the victor a lady who was not a jew hearing what god has done for the israelites she connects herself with that god and says our god will give us victory so when you conquer this town please take me and my family along with you i want to belong to that god so those three people said okay you tie red flag on the top of your house it is only with the blood of the lamb we have crossed the egypt and the blood of the lamb will protect you too and before it is dawn as it was getting light they went away from rahab's house and of course as you read now towards the end when joshua and others when they took hold of own conquered the city of jericho the first thing they did was they were looking where is the red flag which is the house which is being governed and protected by the blood of the lamb and they saw the house and first they pulled them out rahab kept her family and she began to give to her whole family the goodness and love of god how god has saved his people and the whole
whole family joined with israelites and one of those israelites saw rahab though she was a prostitute how she hungers and loves her god in the secret of her heart marries her and through her a child is born and who is the grandfather the of david king david the messiah is born in this woman's generation rahab's generation that's why in matthew's gospel chapter 1 when you read about the ancestors of jesus rahab's name also is there though she is not a jew the secret is in the secret of her heart in spite of so many problems struggles and problem in the world she kept the lord the hunger for the lord the love for the lord and the love for god's people the love for people who are running for life it is this love that we keep in the secret of our heart is going to determine the quality of life and the quality of courage the joy and satisfaction of life 